today we're going to be getting into Geiger. This is a new series out. Very good book. We're going to go over the cover art first of all. Look at this. Love the spray stencil. Love the little checkerboard pattern at the top. Very ska. So let's go ahead and get into this. This book is basically the complete opposite of Shadecraft. Shadecraft 1, not a good book. I was thinking about getting the second issue just for the memes, but really not interested. After reading Geiger, the difference is night and day. Nothing happens in this book. Everything happens in this book. So this is the origin story for Geiger, um, for Tariq, uh, and that's the main character of this book. Um, and so not all, and again, not all image books are going to be bad. Right? I know we've seen a lot of trash being pumped out of DC and Marvel right now. They really don't serve the real comic book market. Uh, it just serves virtue signaling bullshitters on Twitter who don't read books, who don't have long boxes. I don't have long boxes either. All right, so Geiger number one. On the first page, what we're going to be seeing, uh, it's a group of men going out, and they're going to an abandoned place to find some resources. Beautiful full spread right there. Boom. Again, show, don't tell. Perfect. You can see, like, the small little campfire there. It cuts back to 20 years earlier. Everything's going down. Here is our hero of the story. And a really good dad, too. A lot of what you see in, in comic books, or at least in media nowadays, run by the uh, quote-unquote woke, is that you don't see a lot of strong father figures or strong masculine figures. And of course, this is the complete opposite of that. Uh, he has a bunker for his family. Right now, he's getting them in there, okay? So his son turns to him and says, Dad, what's Molly barking at? That's some beautiful art right there. Tariq runs off. He goes to go grab his dog. On his way back, boom, blasted through the leg. And then a classic throwback to the old Golden Age comics, science fiction horror screams, ah, Tariq. And then you see the cool mustache, but these are bad people. You can tell that they're bad people because they don't have children. Boom, she kills the dog. He's telling him to open the door. He won't. This is showing his strong moral character. He does not care to save his own life if it risks his family and he's doing whatever it takes to protect his family again look at that i mean if you're in his position too you know you'd be like all right well before i die let me kill someone else i don't know it might be a better death than a <laughs> nuclear explosion so he might be doing him a favor although i really love i love Tariq. He he's a great character look at that Twenty years later, cut back to our protagonist. Let's hope we find something. Look in there; it's empty. Until we come across full spread. Perspective is beautiful. Art style is beautiful. It sets up the shot. So now we can see. Okay, it's his castle. And then they mention a king in taxes. Very cool. That guy ain't got no suit on. And so that's something you want to recognize here. He doesn't have a suit on. They need to wear suits because of how much radiation there is. I've had garbage collectors like yourselves come around now and again trying to get past my property line. Once it didn't get off my lawn when I asked, I ended up under it. That's how I got all these cars. That's him, isn't it? That's the glowing man. He ain't glowing. Boom, boom. He jumps down. Whew. Look at that badass, you can see, boom, right? A sign, huh? What would it say? Oh yeah, he says, you should've, didn't want us here, you should've put up a sign. Let's go, man. So we get an awesome fight scene, uh, showing off Tariq's skills, or the glowing man's skills. Yeah, sure. I'll put up a sign. In neon. That's kind of cheesy. That's, that's kind of dorky right there, but it's good. It's real good. No trespassing. Boom. Man, that's badass. Dude, no trespassing. Hero transformation. Boom. Boo. <laughs> Yo, dude. It's so cool. And then it cuts back. He now has a new dog. A box of explosives. Maybe it's, it's probably not explosives in there, but, you know, we'll see. Too many people out here already. But yeah, so going through, I mean, this is good. This is a good book. In comparison, if you're looking for something that isn't complete SJW garbage, isn't woke garbage, you're looking for something good now, pick up Geiger. <laughs> like, I can't say it enough, man. This was a very entertaining read. He goes back to the uh, vault. We come back, and we see them speak about a king. Now, Safari Bob claimed to have met him once. So they're talking about all these people. Hey. 
And you say, King, what's that? Nuclear bomb coat of arms? That's pretty cool. But wait a second. Thor actually is a king. And he is an insolent brat. He just he wants people to worship him. And the next month, the king and I. And that's the end of Geiger 1. And it is so good. And looking at this last page, it gives us a little info. There's Safari Bob. Um, we have the Legion. Caesar's Legion right here. That's Nero. We have some pirates. We have... Uh, I couldn't read her name. The Jurassic. So that's cool. So she they might be like punks or whatever. Who knows? You have the Omertas, or the Organ People Alliance, but uh, we're going to go ahead and say that uh, they're cannibals. I'm just calling that now. You have the King, and then you have Bonnie, Borden, Smart and Dangerous, and a Flapper. So this is cool. This reminds me of Fallout New Vegas. I love Fallout New Vegas. The game is so good. The game is so good, but this book is even better. So... We'll find out more in the next one. Not to mention, he reads comic books in it. So, what do I think of this? I think it's a 10 out of 10. I think this book is so good. I'm going to take Shadecraft out of there. You don't deserve a bag and a board, Shadecraft. Get out of there. Boom. Throw you away. Although, I, um, I do got to let you know, um, I have been seeing this book go from... 10 to 20 bucks on eBay. Um, is it worth that much? I mean, it's a new book. It's hot. Yeah, but should we really be paying that much for a new book? Uh, if you can find it for cheaper, definitely get it. I don't want to like add into any hype of uh, making the prices go up because I read books. I don't really spec. So, uh, yeah. I mean, of course, spec is okay. Spec is all right. Spec is all right. You want to make money off comic books? That's cool. You're keeping the industry alive. That's all right with me. You do what you want, man. I'm... I'm going to go ahead and preserve them, collect them. Anyway, I guess. Uh, your friendly neighborhood of crafty and entity. Signing out.